Here's the problem that you have, the administration, mm -hmm. credibility in Congress with the American public because of the mistakes, because of the previous statements, the last throws, the comment you made a year and a half ago, the insurgency was in its last throws. How do you build up that credibility because so many of these Democrats and a lot of Republicans now are saying they don't believe you anymore? Well, Wolf, um, if the uh, history books were written by people who have so eager to write off this effort to declare it a failure, including many of our friends on the media, um, the uh, situation obviously would have been over a long time ago. Uh, the bottom line is that we've had enormous successes and we will continue to have enormous successes. It is hard. It is difficult. It's one of the toughest things any president has to do. It's easy uh, to stick your finger in the air and figure out which way the winds are blowing and then try to get in front of the herd. Uh, this president doesn't work that way. Uh, he also be very clear in terms of providing leadership going forward for what we need to do in Iraq. Now, fact is, this is a vitally important piece of business. It needs to be done. The consequences of our not completing the task are enormous. You Just think, think for a minute. I mean, think for a minute, Wolf, um, in terms of what policy is being suggested here. What you're recommending, or at least what you uh, seem to believe the right course is, is to bail I'm just out. asking questions. No, you're not asking yes, questions. Yes, I am. I'm just asking implicit, implicit, the questions implicit that, in the critics, that your critics are asking. Implicit in what the critics are suggesting, uh, I think, is an obligation to say, well, here's what we need to do. Or we're not going to do anything else. We're going to accept defeat. Defeat is not an answer. We can, in fact, prevail here, and we need to prevail. And the consequences of not doing so are enormous. Uh, you've said that. Here's what the Jim Webb, the senator from Virginia, said in his Democratic response last night. The president took us into this war recklessly. We are now, as a nation, held hostage to the predictable and predicted disarray that has followed. And, and it's not just Jim Webb. It's some of your good Republican friends in the Senate and the House are now seriously questioning your credibility mm -hmm. because of the blunders of the failures. Uh, Gordon Smith. Wolf, Gordon Smith. Wolf, I simply don't accept the premise of your question. I just think it's hogwash. That what, remember, there, were no, there were no blunders? The president remember, himself says there were blunders. Remember mistakes. me. I, we are, we're out of time, but a couple uh, issues I want to raise with you. Uh, uh, your daughter, Mary, she's pregnant. All of us are happy. She's going to have a baby. You're going to have another grandchild. Some of the uh, uh, some critics, though, are suggesting, for example, a statement from someone representing Focus on the Family. Mary Cheney's pregnancy raises the question of what's best for children. Just because it's possible to conceive a child outside of the relationship of a married mother and father doesn't mean it's best for the child. Do you want to respond to that? No, I don't. She's uh, obviously a good daughter. I'm I've delighted. Her. I'm delighted. I'm about to have a sixth grandchild, Wolf, um, and um, obviously think the world of both my daughters and all of my grandchildren. And uh, I think, uh, frankly, you're out of line with that question. I think. I think all of us I think appreciate. You're of, I think you're your out daughter. Of line. No, we like your daughters. I believe me. I'm very, very sympathetic to Liz and to Mary. I like them both. That was just. A question that's come up, and uh, it's a it's a responsible, fair question. Right? I I just fundamentally disagree with you. I want to congratulate you on having another grandchild. Let's wind.